Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be watching a video by the channel Architecture. It's take a tour of the Queen's six amazing royal palaces across the UK. So this is going to be spanning, you know, the UK of all the, you know, everything I want to know about um, what she owns, some of the, the royal palaces. I'm sure there's plenty more than these um, all over. And this is kind of just like, I guess the biggest, most well-known ones, perhaps. Let me know. I've, I've heard she has, what you know, obviously way more than six, and this is probably just some of them. Uh, let me know how that, what's going on with that. But uh, let's let's jump in. This is a shorter video, so we'll uh, get through these, these six, and uh, let me know any more information you can. Already, that's just mind-blowing. Windsor. It's Windsor Castle. I've never been there. I made that up. I'm probably wrong. You're laughing at me right now, but it's okay. We'll learn. This is going to be According in the According to British newspapers, Queen Elizabeth II has an overall fortune of $421 million. Is that accurate? Is that true? Four, that's crazy. That's crazy. A lot of this money How? is spent on maintaining her various properties across the UK. Oh, that's good. So it's like... In short... The queen owns immense amounts of property, but she couldn't sell most of it if she wanted to. Of her entire portfolio, her prime properties are split between four crown-owned and two privately owned residences, passed down from her father, King George VI. It's in these six opulent palaces that the queen spends almost all of her time. Let's explore them. Crown-owned, Buckingham Palace. Crown owned, is that just passed down from, you know, queen to king, just royal family to the next one, whoever comes in next in line, I'm assuming that's it. Does crown own also mean like, can she, does she even have, can she do anything with it? Can she actually just sell it? Or is it kind of like the people's, I know we watched a video though, of like she's pretty much, she can kind of do whatever she wants, but I, I just don't know exactly what crown owned means. Unless it's just her, or if it's the royal family, if it's whatever it is. As far as architectural be. marvels are concerned, Buckingham Palace is among That's the top of been. the list. The structure exudes opulence. Buckingham Palace is so popular that even the guards who stand at their gate have their own emoji. Foxton's estate yeah, agents do. valued Buckingham Palace at over $2.7 billion. The queen could actually rent it for a million dollar a week, but of course she oh, wouldn't. Wow. Spectacular. Uh, that is... If that doesn't scream royalty, I don't know what does. Amazing. Crown owned. I'd love to do a, uh, Oh, Notable I was right! For its long association right. with the English I've seen and pictures later of British it. royal family and for its architecture. I love this one because, well, one, I, I like, you know, the gardens in front. The multiple layers it's like you know yeah like your legit kind of royal castle um this is huge i really wanted to go here and we actually chose in the limited time that i had here um in britain in 2018 late late 2018 um we went to kensington palace instead it was walking distance from kind of where we we're at we we're at east putney station was uh our closest station that we were at, and we went to Kensington instead. But I want to go here. I love anything, anything castle-like. The original castle was built in love the 11th it. century after the Norman Crazy. invasion of England by William the Conqueror. Crazy. Windsor Castle is the longest occupied palace in Europe, and at almost 1,000 years old, is something of an icon of British architecture. It is often the yeah, venue of state events, and it's the Queen's country residence. She spends most weekends here. I mean, what, wouldn't you? I would too. I would definitely spend uh, the weekends there. Oh, like, look at that. And it's huge too. It's so big. It's like, what's all this? What's all the stuff on the right side? What's the, I, I, I'm gonna do a video just on Windsor Castle, that's for sure. I just want to know more, more in depth about it. What's going on with it? Crown owned, Palace of Holyrood Crown House. Owned. Holyrood House oh, I've been is here. the Queen's official Scottish Edinburgh. residence. It is also where Mary, Queen of Scots, married twice. 
It is a key example of 17th century Scottish architecture with I exceptional national and international architectural architecture. and historical significance. This place was really cool. That uh, abbey. I have a picture right in, the, right in the kitchen still from when I was young in the abbey. It's also Crown owned. Hillsborough Castle. It's the Queen's it's official cool residence in Northern Ireland, made so after the War of Irish Independence meant she could no longer occupy a royal residence in Dublin. Viewed by some as a politically neutral venue, Hillsborough has played an important role in the peace process in Northern Ireland since the 80s. In 2014, historic royal palaces took over the running of Hillsborough Castle and began an ambitious project to restore the house and gardens to its former glory. Too. All of these will be. Nothing like the other two, but this is just like more of like a cozy kind of royal palace. Love it. Love it. Privately owned. Sandringham House. Okay, so we have Crown owned, and now this is privately owned. Is this just straight up, and maybe they'll say, from her money or her, her father's money or someone down the line who actually bought this? Is that how it works? I'm not sure. Please let me know. You guys are the best at explaining these. I, I learned so much first from the comments. From the videos, it's kind of just like a teaser. And then what I, I learned so much from just like talking to everyone about the situation, what's going on, facts about it, and little snippets. I love that. Sandringham House was purchased in 1862 by Queen Victoria. A family favorite, the Queen always spends Christmas and New Year at Sandringham, where she broadcasts her famous annual address to the nation. Dang. Sandringham House remains private property of the royal family and is not part of the Crown Estate. Okay. I think I got it. Most of it. There we go, the inside. Wow, the detail. The detail in every room, on every wall. All like the crown molding, the ceilings. Those hall bars? Privately is that owned. What you call them? Balmoral Castle. Balmoral Castle is an example of Scottish baronial wow. architecture and is classified by Historic Environment a Scotland as a Category uh, just, just A like listed building. The Balmoral Ireland. Estate now covers an okay. area of approximately 50,000 acres. It is a working estate, including grouse moors, forestry, and farmland, as well as managed herds of deer, highland cattle, That's and so ponies. Cool. I love Balmoral old Castle remains like private property of the royal family and is not part of the Crown Estate. No, I wanted more royal palaces. Oh, there we go. 15 videos on royal palaces. Well, maybe they'll go in more in depth uh, in a future video. Okay, out of all these palaces, here, here's my question. Which, like, th there's probably one that is, you know, people love the most. A most popular one. Out of all of these palaces, which one would you choose to live in? Like, if you live in any of these for the rest of your life, just one of them, which one would it be? I would have to choose Windsor Castle. I would have to choose that. It is so cool. Like, look at that. Th that's mine. But I want to hear yours, and if, if give a reason, oh, give a reason why if you uh, can. Oh, I broke this. Um, yeah, which one would you choose to live in if you could, for the rest of your life? That is so cool. But all the other ones are really good for their own reason. This one's cool. Like the the Abbey here, I remember going there. I think I was in like I don't know fifth grade or something. There's some. Some story about some blood stain that's still there from a long time ago. Don't know what that was all about. Someone died there. Probably many people did. Um, saw like these hidden passages and stuff when we did the uh, did the path. I don't remember since once again I was in fifth grade. It's been a long time. I don't remember much of anything. I was probably just so focused on everything around me and not listening to the tour guide at that young of age. The Abbey was really cool. I should just grab my photo in the kitchen and bring it over here. Um, 
This place is cool too. I like it. The gardens are nice of this place. I don't know. And let, let me know, yeah, what, what they missed. I'm going to do more videos on probably like Windsor Castle for sure. Kensington was super interesting. Um, I'm surprised that wasn't on here, but maybe there's just so many or maybe that's, I don't know. Is that crown owned? Is that, is that like, what was the other one? Family owned? Um, yeah, that's, that's a question too that I have. What's the diff? Like, I probably understand the difference, but there's probably all these specifics that I don't know um, about. But yeah, that, please let me know. And which one of these would you live in? Because they are all, all amazing. And this Northern Ireland one is very, just like beautiful, like your normal kind of normal. Uh, quaint palace in Northern Ireland. And the surroundings look beautiful up on this kind of kind of hill, kind of overlooking some city. Um, and it's it's really cool that they used this, or she used this, or the royal family used this to kind of ease, I guess, the tensions. Um, like they said in the 80s, and I'm sure 90s when I was there, it was I was young. I was in Northern Ireland, um, both both Ireland and Northern Ireland, and yeah, it was a lot of armored trucks and and soldiers kind of marching down the roads it's pretty weird to be in going from you know the u.s and then going over there and seeing this uh, was was pretty strange i think it was very 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 early 2000s like i don't know 01 or something like that so that is um pretty interesting that they kind of added that little snippet in and yeah as always add any oh, this one's so cool too and another thing that i learned she does her speed the christmas and new year's here and she does her what was it Christmas speech from here um that was the, I've seen photos of that and I, I feel like I've heard it before um so yeah that, that's it for this video I'm sure this is very few let me know how, how many does she have how many royal palaces and residence does the queen or the royal family have the differences between the the crown properties and the royal ones and which one would you live in those are those are just three questions that i want to kind of hear about discuss and see what other people think because that's always very interesting just why they think that why they would like to live there and a lot of times it'll be kind of enlightening to see what they say and you kind of see their side and their view of it and be like oh yeah maybe that is my favorite now so until next time Let's let's uh, let's see what the most popular place is where you would want to live and uh, have a good rest of the day. Thanks for watching and see you next time.